Well, hello guys, what is up? It's your boy, Spooky Noodles, and I am back with another book mail video. Today, I have gathered two books that I've actually bought, like for, like one I bought like a week ago, and then one I bought and it came like two days ago. So what I have for you is uh, one book that is in, in, in really good condition, and the other one, not so much good condition, even though it was supposed to come in excellent condition. So, um, yeah. Um, so you're going to get a book complaint <laughs> and you're going to get a book mail. So get ready for that. So I don't know what you guys want me to start off with, but I think I'm going to start off with the mo most freshly thing in my mind. And that is my book complaint. Um, so I'm going to first start off with a little story. So... Y'all know this author that I've been highly recommending for a long time now. His name is Ronald Kelly. He's my favorite author of all time. I got a tattoo of one of his books on my arm. Well, not one of his books per se, but a, th uh, a, a themed book or a themed tattoo to a book that he wrote. That's a mouthful. I sorry, but um, I'm in love with Ronald Kelly's writing, and I'm actually reading one of his books right now. Um. I'm reading a bunch of books right now, though, so I'm jumping in between things because, woo, I'm cuckoo. But um, today, if you notice, I have no Adderall, so I'm a little bit off the walls today. So I apologize if this seems like a big rambly video, but it's probably going to be that way because I have no Adderall. So, yeah. Um, so this is me unmedicated, so you're welcome. <laughs> but anyways, um, back to what I was saying. Um, Ronald Kelly is one of those authors that I want to get all of his books signed and put on my bookshelf. And then when my kids come around one day and they want to read books, they have signed editions of my favorite author waiting for them to read. You know what I'm saying? So I'm collecting these for not only me, but for my kids. And I want good conditioned books. I want books that they can destroy, you know? They can destroy these books later on as they're reading. And hopefully I teach them well that they don't bend the spines and stuff like that. But um, sometimes you got to bend a spine. <laughs> Anyways, I wish I could bend the seller's spine that sold me this book. But that's here nor there. We're about to get there. Um, but um, not here nor there. I'm, I'm off the walls today. But um. Basically, what I'm saying is that I want all my books in pristine condition by Ronald Kelly, and I want them signed by him. So what I do is I buy a book, then I ship it to him, I give him money for shipping, and he signs the book and then brings it back to me. Very easy thing. So um, this has nothing to do with Ronald Kelly, by the way. Uh, Ronald Kelly is not the one that messed up or anything. He didn't even get this book because it came in such raggedy condition. Um... And I'll show you the raggedy condition in a second here. Um, so, where was I at? Um, so, I bought this book, Bloodkin. Bloodkin by Ronald Kelly. And it's a, one of my favorite books by him. Although, granted, I've only read a few books. And every single book has been great. I have really extremely like both of his Halloween collections. I like father's little helper or 12 gauge um i like bloodkin i like fear i like so many books by him i'm reading undertaker's moon aka moon of the werewolf and i'm loving it so yeah ronald kelly is my favorite author um but that's you already know that um so i bought this book from this company called zuber which i guess is an affiliated uh company with thrift books which i did not know um, they posted on eBay a $35 edition of a zebra pa printed paperback of Bloodkin for 35 bucks. Um, it's supposed to be in excellent condition. And as you can see in my words was, um, that means I didn't get it in excellent condition. Um, it was supposed to be in excellent condition. I was getting really excited. I was telling Ronald Kelly, I was going to ship it to him and he was going to sign it for me. Then I was going to have a paperback version a zebra printed paperback edition of Bloodkin on my shelf that is signed by the author himself. Because right now I have a pinnacle version of Bloodkin by Ronald Kelly. And it just looks different from all the other paperbacks on the shelf. I have almost all of Ronald Kelly's books, older books, in zebra paperback. But 
Bloodkin is the only one that I did not have in zebra print. It's it was um in Pinnacle. So I really wanted to get a zebra printed Bloodkin copy, but well I did get one, but it's not in great condition at all. And the point I'm wanting to make is if you see something on eBay and they have one picture, and even though the book looks like it's in excellent condition, and it's actually a picture of a book, like someone took a picture of an excellent conditioned book, posted it on eBay, and then they gave me this. So, as you can tell, this wouldn't be a bad reading copy at all, you know? And then there's like ripped pages too. Um, there's They're folded, um, dog-eared. I'm just, my point is, this is not excellent condition, $35 priced condition. You know, I'm, I'm, this is not a $35 conditioned book. Um, as you can see, I can't barely, you know, I, there's spots on the back here. It's like glue or something. Um, I don't even know why. It's kind of gross. Um, but this thing is seen way better days. Um... I mean, like I said, this wouldn't have made a bad reading copy, but this is not the excellent condition book that I bought, you know? So I contact, oh, excuse me. By the way, I just drank a little bit of pop, so I apologize. Um, so I contacted the seller, and you know what they told me? Sorry for the inconvenience. We can give you $5 discount on your next book purchased from us. I'm like, I bought $35 and you gave me a dollar bin find edition. Like, that's not going to fly. No, I want my money back. So after going through eBay and discussing it with eBay, um, I started a return and eventually they just gave me, refunded my money and told me to keep the book. Um, so... Now I am a proud over of a raggedy edition of Bloodkin by Ronald Kelly, um, which I do have no use for. So um, I'm probably going to, I don't even know if I should give this away. Is, is this a book that you guys, I mean, I know this is a, like, this book is great. Don't get me wrong. The story inside these pages, phenomenal book. But it's not in the best condition. In fact, this looks like almost in the same condition as Fear at, when I got done with it. So... Back when I didn't know how to take care of books. But, um, yeah, not the best conditioned book. Um, not the what I ordered for Ronald Kelly to sign. So, yeah, book rant right there. Um, very frustrated with how this book came in the mail. Um, it had the thrift store wrapping all around it. And when I opened it look like this and this is not 35 i paid more than 35 dollars for this book and it did not turn out like if this was a really rare book and i paid 35 bucks for it okay that makes sense but this is not i'm no offense but no no this is not a really rare book you know um and they advert false advertised it to me so that's what ticks me off is they've self-advertised it uh, false advertised it to me and then they tried to get me rip me off so that I'm not happy with but I'm um, luckily they either saw the errors in the way or knew that they messed up or something I don't know someone actually I looked at the reviews and they've had like 30 negative reviews so you know um but uh yeah don't sell me books like this man this is very unfortunate but um Hopefully I can find a good edition, zebra back edition of Bloodkin soon. Then I'll sign it, get, send it to uh, Ronald Kelly for him to sign. Then I'll have it in my hands and possession and it will fit right on the shelf with all of my other Ronald Kelly books. Um, so yeah, very frustrated about that. He even has the thrift book sticker on it. You know, I don't know if you saw that. Um, has a thrift book sticker on it. Which I hate stickers, by the way. But anyways, um, that's my little book rant. Hey, we've gone on for like nine minutes with this book rant. So let's move on to the next book, which is an actual good condition. Um, and yeah, so this one's a little shorter than Bloodkin. It comes in at 206 pages. 
Um, this one comes from Dell Fiction. And I don't even know if this is a horror book, but it has a really cool cover to me. Um, I like books set in the winter. So this one just looked like a book that I would want. It's called Winter Chill by jo uh, Joanne Fluke. One by one, the children were dying horribly as death wrapped the cozy Minnesota village in its winter chill. Ah, oh, my wrist. It hurts. All right, so here we go. Let me read the back for you guys. Blood on the Snow. First, there was a terrible snowmobile accident that took little Laura Larson's life, put her rugged father in a wheelchair, and drove her poor mother nearly mad with grief. Then, pretty Becky Fisher, playing with the huge saw in the old ice house, and Jenny Powell, her small body lying grotesquely twisted in the moonlight snow. Moonlit snow. Was a murderer stalking the silent streets of the Min little Minnesota village? Was a maniac lurking in the icy shadows? Could anyone save the children when someone wanted them dead? Buried forever in the winter chill. So this is a very short book, and uh, I kind of bought it a little late. It's still very cold here in Michigan, but... Um, Snow, actually snow fell the other day, but I don't expect snow to continue falling, or falling, 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 ah, I can't talk, um, falling, um, I don't expect it to snow more, but, um, you never know, we're almost in April, and heck, we still get snow, so, it's because of the Great Lakes, you know, we get, and, can can Canada, Canada, um, we get these, like, the, like, ugh, how do I explain it? These clouds, uh, go, go hover over the, uh, Great Lakes, collect the, the water, and then come over, and since it's so cold, snow happens, you know? And that's why we get snow when a lot of other states don't during this time of year, so, um, yeah, I'm sure everyone is glad to have that weather lesson, but um, I, I could explain it with better words, but right now my brain is fried. I cannot think, so I apologize. But um, yeah, Winter Chill by Joanne Fluke. Looks like a good book. Um, sounds like a good book. I'm, I'm, I'm not expecting an actual serial killer to be stalking everybody. But I kind of more expect like a Final Destination type th theme from this book. Not sure if that's what we're going to get. But that's what I expect from this book. Um, very happy to own this now. Um, and uh, yeah. Um, so I should have some more books coming in the mail eventually. Um, I'm not buying too many things anymore. Physical things that I should say. Um, but you know... You never know. So that's it with the book mail. Um, I also have a new cover for a story I've been working on. Um, but I'm 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 sad to say that I've really been off my grind when it comes to my horror writing and horror and writing in general. Um, I just haven't really either on the days I do have off, I either am like this and I cannot concentrate or. I just don't feel like writing, you know, and it's sad. It's very sad that it's coming to this, but, um, I'm having, I'm really struggling with writing right now. And I've, I've done a lot of things to get myself back in the groove, but it's been suffocating lately trying to write. It's like, I can't, no words are coming out of my mouth. Like every time I try to breathe words onto the page, I just choke up, so, yeah, but, um, that's it, I guess, um, this has been a book mail video, um, I'm gonna try to write a little bit, I'm not sure if I'm gonna write what my teacher wants me to write, or what I wanna write, or what I should be writing, you know, I got a lot of things to write, so, you know, Jeez, it's <sighs> stressed out, guys. So, 
I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope it was a spooky night, and I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Peace out.